Hello everybody, it is Pineapple here, back with another video. And so today we're going to be going over just about everything you need to know about Labyrinth for a post agov world, because it's about to change significantly, mostly due to RES, um, and how it enables you to do all sorts of heinous actions, specifically with Chaos Angel, as well as Turn Zero. And so for that, we're going to be going over just about everything you need to know just for the deck, because I'm certain that there's going to be a lot of new lab players. And the last time I made one of these videos, it has since become extremely outdated, just due to the nature of how the metagame has shifted, as well as uh, all the new and different interactions that we have discovered just over the time period. So first up, uh, we need to talk about what Arias says exactly. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with this card during the main phase, as a quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, either special summon a Labyrinth monster or set a normal trap from your hand, and that normal trap can be activated this turn. Additionally, if your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation or effect of your normal trap card or, or a Labyrinth card, you can, while it's in the graveyard, special summon it, um, which is really, really good. It's important to note that it's a level six, which means that it goes exceptionally well with Chaos Angel, all because of a certain level four monster that you have that is your primary normal summon in Ariana. Um, and so we're going to go over exactly all the intricate things that you can do specifically with Arias, just because it is the most important card that is going to shift how we play lab. Now, obviously, the most Im obvious implication is that turn zero, Arias plus any blowout normal trap is a blowout normal trap that you can activate. Turn zero, you send Arias from your hand to the graveyard. You set something like a Durbo Destructive Karma Cannon or a Dimensional Barrier, you flip it up, um, and that's the whole thing, and that's the whole shebang. But because Arias is a Labyrinth Monster, you, if you have a Lady in your hand, you can Special Out Lady before you activate this card, um, and you can set something like a, a Big Welcome for follow-up on your turn um, by chaining Lady to the Normal Trap. This is a very important thing because it secures you follow-up and does a lot to interrupt your opponent's plays. Um, and additionally, if your opponent has any response to this, you get an extra free body with Arias. This is going to be important later, because Arias is going to enable us to do a whole lot of heinous crimes with specifically SP Little Knight. Now, for most of Labyrinth's lifespan, and the turn one play has been conditioned to normal Ariana, activate the effect, search a welcome, search a piece of furniture, secure some follow-up, and don't really do a whole lot turn one. Your aim is to, you know, play on your opponent's turns, slow the game down, um, and win from there. But now that we have Arias, um, and we can do some pretty heinous stuff. So Ariana plus either of these two, um, because obviously you're going to be searching the other one with Ariana, um, allows you to do the turn zero play and actually secure follow-up. Um, while you could previously do this with Ku Klok, um, I don't think that the reason is that Ku Klok does not enable you to secure a, a play no matter what you do. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, SP Little Knight. I don't have an SP Little Knight right now, so I'll throw one up on screen when, when it's necessary. Uh, but essentially, you normal summon Ariana uh, and grab whichever one you don't have. And you can fire Arias um, and set Big Welcome. And then you can fire Big Welcome. And if it resolves, obviously, we're grabbing Lovely here, here and we're turning our Ariana to hand for follow-up. And then, you know, ripping a card out of our opponent's hand. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to reset the Big Welcome after we use it. But if it, it we do get interrupted, uh, we can chain Arias to the Ash Blossom or Bell. Um, and from here, we can link away these two monsters and proceed to make ourselves a copy of SP Little Knight, who is, of course, a piece of removal on our opponent's turn, meaning that if we get interrupted and lose our copy of Big Welcome, we aren't just ending on absolutely nothing. And then we've gone minus like three for absolutely no uh, benefit. Now, we need to talk about how you can reach any normal trap you want at any point and activate it on the same turn. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a trigger effect of Lady and access to Ku Clock. This is important because the best way to do this is by triggering a copy of Big Welcome on the field, chaining your copy of Lady, searching out a copy of Ku Clock, and then immediately returning it to your hand. And of course, setting a dimensional barrier or whatever you want in the process, immediately firing this Ku Clock and then being able to fire, of course, the Dimensional Barrier or whatever normal trap, whether it's a Duruma Destructive Karma Cannon or perhaps, say, another normal trap, whatever is necessary at the time, this is how you're going to be able to trigger any normal trap you want on your opponent's turn. Now, where would Lab be without its very trusty good friend, Chaos Angel? Um, I'm certain that most of you are familiar with the way that you make Chaos Angel traditionally in Lab, which is by taking one of your big ladies and tuning it with a stovey that has typically been recurred as the result of a big welcome um, in order to make a Chaos Angel banish something off your field. But it's very important to note that now there's a second way to consistently make Chaos Angel. Um, since Arias is a 6 and Ariana is a 4, if you are interrupted, you can bring back an Arias. 
and then proceed to sync them off together in order to make Chaos Angel. Uh, this is actually really relevant because while you can also go into something like a little light, it is very good to just go into Chaos Angel, banish a card on your opponent's field, make all your monsters um, indestructible in battle. But it's also important to note that you can trigger Chaos Angel up to three times in a turn. This is the result of the card not being a hard once per turn. Um, and the existence of something like a Muckraker. If you have three monsters on the board and you can make Chaos Angel, you can link away for uh, Muckraker, including Chaos Angel, and then use Muckraker to bring back Chaos Angel to get an additional banish. This is a really useful feat, um, but you can actually trigger Chaos Angel up to three times reasonably consistently with the Labyrinth Field spell, since when you activate a non-normal a non-welcome normal trap, you are permitted to special summon a fiend from your hand or graveyard, or, which Chaos Angel is. Um, so you can bring him back for a third time if you trigger something like an Imperm, an Ice Dragon's Prison, maybe a Doruma Destructive Karma Cannon, um, and then proceed to trigger Chaos Angel a third time in order to banish your opponent's um, essentially entire board. Now, where would we be without our fun uh, niche interactions? Um, so of course, we're going to be talking first about Nibiru, the Primal Being, and its interaction with the Furniture. Uh, I'm certain a lot of you have known this. Um, you can use Nib um, and then proceed to send it for the Furniture in order to get a set, something like a Big Welcome, um, and this will force Nib to true the entire board um, without creating the token or summoning itself, but it will still wipe the board, which is really useful because sometimes, you know, you don't want a monster on your field. Uh, sometimes you have Fenrir, sometimes you just have cards you want, you know, that you want to be able to, you can't have a monster on the board and you need Nib to go away. Uh, note that this does, you know, make you vulnerable to Called by the Grave, but if you want to play around Called by the Grave, that's your prerogative. But the other interaction we really need to talk about is how Big Welcome interacts with hand traps that put themselves back in on the field. Um, this is specifically about Nib, Druus, um, and Magnum up because you can use Big Welcome, summon something like a Lovely, and then immediately put these back in your hand in order to be used again later. Um, this is an exceptionally, exceptionally powerful effect um, that you can use, um, and it makes it so that your opponent will have to play through Nibiru or a Bestial every single turn because of Big Welcome, while additionally getting a pop. Um, and I personally find that to be a super, super uh, powerful interaction. Well, I personally have never been more excited to play Lab in the future going forward. Uh, I hope you guys did learn something. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.